alright. Let me know if you see it back up. Is it back for you? Back up. All right, it's good now. Should be back up. All right. So, how long have you been playing Eve? That chick is the bane of my existence in this game. See that big old freaking pickaxe thing? Oh, okay, so yeah, you're a bit. I've been pl I played it. Well, I've been playing it for like about ten years. Oh, come on. See, like, she just will show up like that. Nope, right in the crotch. Sure doesn't feel too good. This chick is such a pain to get past. So you haven't heard you hadn't heard of the original Outlast? What the heck? What are we supposed to do? No. No. 
You piece of crap. Yeah, the first one took place in an insane asylum. You were a reporter. Oh, right here. Duh. No. Bad. Yeah, that's right. Get kicked in the face. You were you got tipped off. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> So you got tipped off that there was some bad stuff going on in Insane Asylum in the first game. So you got emailed and you go as a reporter and you get stuck in there and you you get chased by uh, a dude named Chris Walker who's like this huge like prisoner there. Like well, he was a uh, a patient there. And the corporation is doing bad stuff, of course, and all that. And this one's much different in terms of setting. That one you were in a claustrophobic like asylum the entire time. In Colorado. This one, you're like out in the middle of the Arizona wilderness in some like religious cults compound area. But there also seems to be like corrupt followers that they're warring with, but we haven't really. Oh wow, barrel cactus just hurt me. Um, they seem to be fighting like some followers who turned against them, and so there's some inner stuff going on. Okay. Go. Oh. <clears throat> Climb up in, huh? Oh. Wait. Wait. This is before I found her hanging. <laughs> yeah, that's the point of this game. So he keeps having these hallucinations, the character we are. Um, he had a friend in fourth grade named Jessica who apparently suicided, and he keeps having these weird hallucinations. Back to, like, school. Prepare for a jump scare, bro. We're gonna get jump scared big time. The hangman game. I'm land that Jess used to play. The other half of this must be somewhere. Jessica would have left the hangman somewhere. Berlin to find. 
we were gonna get jump scared by a freaky looking dude, and I only know that from the demo. That's where that weird black thing was behind us when we turned around. We'll just come out randomly and freak us out. We'll try to. Horror is probably one of my favorite genres, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Amaristos. Just be my, uh, be in my fleet. Why I freak myself out playing a horror game. And ask yourself, what would Jesus do? Prepare yourself for a jump scare, it's going to happen. <laughs> no pun intended. You like? Do you think he would like physically like rip the hell out of this place? Or he would get out of here? And by the way, this is going on in his mind right now. So he's actually not even in this building. This is a flashback to his past. Yep, you can see that thing fly past. Yeah, that thing's gonna jump scare us. I don't know when it's gonna jump scare us, but it's gonna jump scare us. Schools are always great settings for horror. <laughs> well, again, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that, that, make, that makes logical sense, but he's stuck in his freaking head right now. Like, he's having a flashback. To a bad memory. And he's been having these flashbacks. Oh. No. We're good. Yeah. And he keeps having these flashbacks. So he kind of can't know bad of here. We need to figure out. Oh. There's something. Oh. Right there. Okay. <laughs> can't watch it even, dragon. Okay, what am I so oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Letters. They're all lined up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can always know about it's called Prozac. <laughs> Alright, prepare for a jump scare, bros. It's gonna happen to us. I'm telling ya. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. How the fuck do I get out of here? That's a good question. I'm just warning you right now, something is about to jump out at us. I'm like, 
and it's ugly looking. It's really ugly looking. Down this locker hall. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing though. Jammed. I'm supposed to go. Yeah, my dad's been having anxiety issues lately. He used to not have it, or he used, he used to get a, get panic attacks really bad when he was a kid, and uh, he hasn't had them his whole adult life basically, and it just came back all of a sudden on him. All right, what am I supposed to do? idea what I'm supposed to do. No. Sorry about that dragon. That sounds like a, a lame mix of events. Bet you the, um, what do you call it, uh, the crash gave you some PTSD, basically. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Son of a biscuit, I don't even know. I'm stuck. Let's go in a locker, why not? Chill in here. Nope, I'm done. That's jammed. No, oh, don't do that. Oh, here we go. All right, prepare for jump scare, bros. Prepare for it. I'm warning you, it's gonna happen. Yep, it's behind us. See that? It's gonna jump at us. <laughs> See that thing? Yeah. We can try to hide, actually, and maybe it'll go away. I think you can wait it out. Oh, hey, Xanos. You are up ungodly early. Well, I guess not. It's like 5 a.m. there. Alright, it's gone. Still gonna jump scare us though. I'm warning you, it's gonna jump scare us. Do not. There it is. <laughs> yep, there it was. Hope you didn't lose your lunch. <laughs> I told you it was coming, Star. <laughs> that was in the demo, too. That jump scare. So I knew it was coming. Text editor. File manager. That is some old-looking desktop right there. Oh, look at that. A floppy disk. What does this say? Classic 95. Microsoft, like Microsoft disk, I bet. Does it have Eve on it? I don't think it's running Eve in 95. Alright, let's go through this door. I'm thinking we're gonna go back to reality. No, can't go through that door. Okay. Let's try this one. No. Something in here then? What do you want me to do?
Just have to climb up in there. Oh, I, yep. That's what I'm supposed to do. I want me to climb up in a vent. You're going insane. All right, see, now he's back in reality. Where, where was this even at going? Where does this even come from? Oh, we can't even go that way. Okay, whatever. Yeah, well, rea in reality, in this game. Well, well, uh, even actual reality. Yeah, well, reality has a way of doing that to us. I mean, being stuck on a, in the middle of the Arizona desert with um, a bunch of cultists, yeah, not a very good uh, alternative to being stuck inside your mind. I never did play Until Dawn. I, I watched Let's Plays of it. I don't have a PlayStation, so I can't play it. But that game, I was surprised that that game was so good because it looked like it was going to be incredibly lame. Like it, it looked Christ. like it was just going to be lame. Okay, it's not that far. This isn't so bad. Dragonflies. I don't know how many of them got in my mouth. But the skin didn't stop itching. They're trying to lift me up. Yeah, but Firewatch isn't really a scary game. It has some, like, bizarre stuff in it. And Things can be considered a little bit creepy in it, but it's not really that kind of game. Firewatch is really cool, though. I, I didn't play that, but I watched people play through that, and it's a really cool game. Dude with another dude on his back. What the heck was going? What was that? Oh no! I, I do not want to deal with that. Crotch lady was enough. See, this dude was crawling like on his freaking like arms and legs, and that dude shot him in the head.
Oh yeah. Parator. <laughs> that character is funny. Bit of an awkward character, but like to play as, I mean, but funny. Time to get our Blair Witch Project vibes. Yeah, there's some kind of mutations happening with some of the people here for some reason. And I think they were... forget what the cultists called them something specific. I forgot the name of them. But there are some weird mutations going on. Who knows from what? Probably like chemical water or something, because there's nothing supernatural within this game universe. I haven't played even like four months, dude. And there's no point to stream Eve when all you're gonna get is jerks sniping your stream just so they can try to get the drop on you. game's not terribly long. I'm going to try to finish it tonight. Although, I might not be able to. Before I have to get some sleep. I don't know how much longer I have. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Some other way around. Sickness here. God bless. These people are rotting even before they've been murdered. Yeah. Yeah, so there's something weird going on here. Something weird. Anyways, the cultists would send people I got sick here to these people. And I don't know what is going on with them. Well, okay, the, the premise of this game is that you are a cameraman slash, like, producer assistant to your wife who's, like, a news reporter for a website, and they were investigating the, uh, the murder slash death of a, of some, of a pregnant Jane Doe who had been found dead, and, uh, I was just listening to the scream in the background there. Um, and so you were taking a helicopter out near where she had been found to try to figure it out. And, uh, you were looking for the mine, I think, actually. And then there was this weird white flash pulsing out, and it knocked your helicopter's engine out, and you crashed. And then Lynn got taken by the cultists, and you went to go find her. You briefly met up back her with her again, ran away from the cultists, and then ran into cultists who turned against the cultists who were like these mutant people I think partially and this dude named Val who was leading them and he was like really creepy and stuff and he had killed the cultists that captured you guys and then ran off with your wife so you're going to the mines to find her so that's why they're in the, stuck in the situation That's a good question. I don't know why he doesn't have a gun. Or why none of these people have guns. But that's the premise of this game. The original Outlast didn't have guns either. And this one didn't either.
Yeah, see, so they're talking about this affliction, whatever it is that the people have. Yeah, for some reason they don't have cell phones on them either. I don't know why that's... I mean, t I, I bet... Oh, see, look at that. What the heck? There's something messed up with them. Uh, I mean, the, I, I imagine they're so remote, it, like, you're not going to be able to get a signal out here, even if you had a cell phone on you. Oh. Um... Yeah, they are diseased or something. Some of them seem like animal. Oh, I did not see you there, lady. Excuse you. You're barfing on me, you jerk. Now I'm gonna die. I'm gonna turn into mutant, man. What the heck is going on? He's missing an arm. Okay. Okay, we're not gonna go that way yet. We're gonna look for batteries. Oh! No, you leave me- no! No, that's... no. Okay. It's enough of seeing that. Man, these people. Oh, you are not friendly. You are majorly not friendly. Oh, ow. Dude. I don't know, what did he drag in? What do these people have? Like, holy cow. Get off me, you jerk. Where did... Where did he come from? That was unfair. That wasn't even fair. Yeah, I don't think it's heroin. I would guess meth before heroin. The way these guys are like scratching and stuff. But I don't think it's a drug. I think... Because they're near a mine. And I think the mine is... Poisoning them. Because this colony has been here since 1971. Of these cultists. So, I think...
Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is like... I think, anyways, this the colony's been here since 1971, and I think... I think there's something in the mine, from the mines, that like, in their water, that's screwing with them. Might even be causing their insanity. Because, again, this game doesn't have a supernatural... Any supernatural stuff to it. The game is, uh... Everything in the game is happening for a reason. If that makes sense. Like, for like a, like a legitimate reason. Not like some Ooga Booga stuff. Well, I th you're able to watch it because you have friends with you. <laughs> Whoops. I can still find my way to the mine. And I'm not being that freaked out by it. So I think you... I don't know. I like these games. I don't know. I know what's wrong with me. But, uh, point being, I think something poisoned these people and made them hallucinate and go crazy and get sick and whatnot like this. It's the only thing that makes sense, in my opinion. But then there's that white pulse that knocked out the helicopter, so I don't know what that is. Yeah, the, anyways, there's this white pulse like I was talking about. In fact, here, I'll show you. Because you can actually re-look at footage in this. I believe we can see it. So this is the beginning of the game. Alright, so, right... In the, like, on, like, to the right of where she's sitting, there was, like, a white pulse that just, boom, comes out after that noise and knocks out the helicopter. And it happens, like, several other times. And every time it's happened, it's what sent him into his insane school yard flashback. Is. Looks like a troll. And I'm, we're gonna have to deal with him. I didn't even know what I was looking at. Some kind of deformed toddler. I don't know about a toddler. How much you want to bet we're going to fall down and have to run for that thing? So that's exactly what kind of thing's going to happen to us. Oh, or the, or get punched in the face. Oh, wait, exactly what I called. Like, literally moments later. I'm surprised the glasses have survived all this. Like, jeez. Alright, so we're gonna have to hide in these tents from it. Okay. Wherever the heck it is. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> that was quite a way to die. Mr. Crawley. Alright, I don't know what I'm... What the heck are you even? Aw, oh, man. Ugh. How do I get out of here? That is like a dead kid. Oh, and there's the weird dude. Looking to murderize us. There we go, okay. No. Get off me. What the heck? Okay. Okay, no. Move. Oh, come on. Oh, we're back in school again. This way, Blake. Jess! Come back! I'm gonna go this way. You guys ever play Fear? <laughs> That's what this area reminds me of. Fear 2 had one of the creepiest schools ever. Yes, we are. Were you not here? For the last little bit, dragon? Oh, for Mr. running away from Mr. Mutant Arrow Man? Then we got teleported back here, yeah. Flashback again. Computer. Oh, what? Oh, what game is that? That's like, that's... It's totally an old game.
That wasn't Doom, was it? There's no way that was Doom. That red brick was very familiar, though. It was from something. But it wasn't a shooter, as far as I can remember. Whoa. See, I honestly, I love that kind of stuff in games, like where they can just distort reality on you like that. That's cool. So it makes game video games so cool. It's the ability to mess with people like that. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely an old style like that, but it it definitely was a different game than Doom. Like, but I remember that, like, weird, like, maze, brick, hallway thing. I, I bet it's an Easter egg of some kind. That I'll read about later. That's another reason I want to come back to EVE, is I don't want to have to deal with my assets moving that crap around. Because I'm nowhere near Astoria or where you guys are. I'd have to sell off everything and then try to buy everything out there. The graphics in this game are awesome. Hey Marvin, just playing a horror game, Outlast 2. So hold on to your butt cheeks if that stuff scares you. Looks like we're back in reality again. And die, and he will be buried. 
you will rise again in more perfect flesh. You will eat of that flesh and hold communion and be healed of our physical sin. And we shall inherit this broken earth. Yeah, the skull is what these things are called. These mutants. See? We prepared everything. It's all ready for you. What? Don't do this! Please! Where is your gospel? You're supposed to have a gospel for us. To guide us. Salvation after the end. A gospel? The truth. Your guidance. You suffered a long time waiting on you. Well, old Nick, I guess we better put those nails in. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, okay. So, <laughs> okay. Part is one of your worst fears, Star. A whole lot of bad just happened. Drive the other nail in and hang them up. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Well, yeah. That's on a short list of bad ways to die. Well then. Well, in the, in the first game you almost get your... your, uh, dick sawed off by a saw blade. Because that guy wanted to make you his wife. Oh, okay. We're gonna start mutating, aren't we? Oh, great. <laughs> what an achievement. I just got an achievement called Hang In There, Baby. I hate about this game is how easy it is to die like that. Like, there's no way to dodge it. Like, they just do, like, you know, it's like a trigger. 
So just you just die. Alright, that jerk is who's killed me. Okay, so gotta avoid that jerk. No. No. Oh my gosh. That is getting so annoying. No! Wow! See that? Like, stuff like that is nonsense. Like, that's not even scary or challenging, it's just dumb. right there. Can you come alive? Yeah, you are. Okay. No. I just need a Dark Souls. You died for this game. No. What the heck? What am I even supposed to do? Like, all these guys just kill me. It's not like I can really hide. That guy doesn't even have an. That guy's even missing an arm and he still kills me. Jerk. Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? die again. Great. Well, yeah, I mean, but that's the point of this game, is that you're supposed to be defenseless. Basically, like, Resident Evil 7 is kind of like this, but with guns. The enemies still are much tougher than you and whatnot, but you have a way to defend yourself. Whereas in this one, you don't really. 
So stupid. It's just this part's getting really dumb because there's just no way around them. And you're hurt enough that they just one shot you. There's too many of them. Honestly, there's like just too many. Gotta. No, they they just see you like this. Like, see, he's just waiting for me, and I can't. Now I can't even get out of here. <laughs> Can't even get out of this. But now if I do, he'll just kill me. It's dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> The thing is, several of the dudes aren't walking away, like some of them are just sitting there, and then they'll just become active once you walk past them. So it's dumb. See, he's... he sees me. See? No thank you. Like, this stuff doesn't, isn't tense, it isn't scary, it's just really annoying. Like, you just want to get past this part at this point. See, if I try to go for this, this guy will wake up. Or maybe not. to get somewhere this time, not wake this idiot up. Yes, I do. I wish I had one. Come on. I need to kite you over here, apparently. Earth wants you. Uh huh. Oh, oh. Really? Really? So stupid.
That guy's blocking the exit. There's a guy standing right in front of where I need to go. I don't know how to get him around him. See, what the heck? Why Why is this guy awake now? So stupid. Screw you. Like, there's no, like, reason for them to wake, not wake up or wake up. Like, that guy didn't wake up last time. not even there this time. Where is he? Waiting, just camping, you know. Yours is the way of suffering. Yeah, it is, apparently. Jerk. <laughs> so dumb. Whoever designed this portion of the game, like. They need to die, because this is horrible. Like, not even a game like Dark Souls has BS crap like this in it, you know? And Dark Souls has some BS crap in it. I think the devs do hate people. This is their dear society, we hate you portion of the game. See, that guy is blocking where we need to go. And I don't know how to get past him. Come here. Come here, you idiot. No! Armless Wonders here. So stupid. Oh, really? Here. What the heck? Why won't... Why... See, like... This is nonsense. Oh, I had to go this way, okay. Alright, well. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back down there though, to get a bandage. Now that I know where I have to go, I can have a hidey spot and a runaway spot now. Alright. Um. Oh, great. Alright, well, now 
now I know what to do at least. Oh, so when I'm stuck, not knowing what to do and dying over and over, that's the dumbest thing. Oh, oh look, the guys is waiting, you know. Oh, they're just waiting. They're just waiting to, you know, yank me out of here. Go ahead, guys. Church. Yeah, we're. Oh, come on. No. made this part is so dumb what's crazy is there's two other difficulties above the difficulty I'm on there's normal hard nightmare and impossible let alone what those ones will do Come on! Screw you! have a shot this time. Wait, jeez. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh. Like, this is, like, an example of obnoxious game design. Nothing you do as a player, uh, like, you can really control what's going on. Like, nothing skill-based. Like, it's by chance that they will trigger and come over and camp your freaking hidey hole while your long freaking animation of healing happens every time. Instead of just, you know, once. No, one armed man, go away, you jerk.
Alright, okay, alright. Chance this time. We have a chance. Come here, jerks. No, no, no. No! 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 Oh, this is so frustrating. Like, I've avoided that person so many times, and now every time they grab me. Like, it wouldn't be so bad if that animation didn't have to happen every single time. You can literally make a break or attempt. stupid. Never again. Jeez. Saving. Okay, we have a new safe spot. Good. Oh, this is gonna be fun. 
More spawn and kill bull crap. See, this is cease to be intense, scary. This is what you call tedious, annoying, unfair. All in one. Okay, I was going too fast. That was my fault. That was my bad. I'll take responsibility for being dumb. Died in this part. Just jeez. to go.
What the fuck? It's our favorite place. Cola, drink it. Okay then. I sent another jump scare. Doom again, or whatever that is. Is that a phone? What the hey? Hey now. You are ugly. Whew. That thing is freaky. Whew. Okay. <laughs>
fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sex phone. Not the fun kind, right? Unless you're into that kind of thing. He's coming! Where am I supposed to go? Ugly, holy cow. That is one freaky monster. I appreciate the freakiness of that design. Holy cow. Okay, I think I'm supposed to hide from it. Because... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know if I can hide from it. I wonder if I'm just not running in the right direction. I have no idea. Just to go where she went? Like, I don't. Oh. No, that's him. What the heck? Uh, somehow, huh? I can still find my way to the mine. That dude that we were, that was riding the other dude's back, was layered. Layered. Speak of the devil. Oh, okay.
sanada. Shot. Where am I supposed to go? We have you. It's okay. We have you. The gospel isn't done yet. Resurrection. Complete your gospel. Yes. Yes. The plan is the way solved.
jerk. Can't. What, you're just gonna sit there when I. Okay. Alright, listen. Back off. Go that way. Yeah. Yeah, you. Go that way. Bad. Piece of my skin stuck in the barbs. It was too late to hold her up. And I was just a kid. still find my way to the mine. She hanged herself before I could stop her. Or she didn't. No. Wait, not her. He... Get down there. I just need a rope.